Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing the Vans Trek Slip-On, the newest shoe from Vans Surf. This is the grape leaf colorway, and I just love this shoe. So um, just to start it out, it's a one-piece rubber construction. It's got the little Vans off the wall logo on the back. And for the sole of the shoe, we have these deep lugs. And as you move forward to the front of the shoe, they get a little bit shallower there. Um, to give you a little bit more feel at the forefront of your foot, then for the midsole of the shoe, we have these drainage holes. So if you're using these on a rainy day or actually using them in the water, you don't get pools of water hanging out with your foot in your shoe. It's an amazing shoe. Um, I've actually been wearing the other pair of these, the Chris Johansson pair, every day since I've gotten them. So every time I walk out the door, I put on this pair of shoes. It's nothing like the comfort of like a Vans Comfy Cush or Pop Cush or one of their pro model shoes or one of their skate model shoes, but it's got the same comfort as like a Croc. It's pretty much what it is. It's basically just a Vans Croc. So one of the cool things about this shoe is actually the faux toe cap here. Um, so you'll see that on some Vans Pro slip-ons and maybe some of the skate slip-ons in the future. It would typically be like a suede upper with an extra rubber toe cap here. And that's for skateboarding if you like a grippier flick or a longer lasting flick, or just prefer a, a toe cap on your shoe in general. It would typically be a rubber toe cap with a suede or canvas upper. And for this, this is obviously not a skate shoe because it's basically just a croc or a sandal. And uh, I think that the reason they included that was basically just to one, protect your toes, but then two, to hide any toenails. So uh, if you have nasty toenails or they're too long or you don't like clipping them, perfect for that too. I love this shoe. The other pair that I got was actually a size 11 and this is a 10. I figured I'd, I'd give two Two different sizes I try because the 11 was a little roomy on me. I'm typically a 10 and a half in Vans, um, but for this pair I got a 10 and it is a little snug. So I would definitely recommend going half a size up if you're in between sizes because with a shoe like this, with this type of material, if it's too tight and it's rubbing against your foot all day, you're gonna get blisters. And I, I feel like with a shoe like this, you're gonna want a little bit of extra room. So definitely go a half size up if you're in between sizes. So if you watch my other review on the other colorway of this shoe, um, I mentioned that I was thinking about doing 100 kickflips in these. So if you want to see that with this shoe, this exact shoe, let me know in the comments if you want to see 100 kickflips in this shoe. So this is actually my second video. I would love if you guys would subscribe, comment, and then go check out my other review on the other uh, colorway of this shoe. Thank you guys so much for watching.